the 2018 pro football season just around the corner, the Miami Dolphins are building a team of a different sort, partnering with 11 community organizations as the team focuses on education and social justice with its Football Unites campaign. Joining us now to explain is Jason Jenkins, senior vice president with the Miami Dolphins and two recipients of this year's grants. Tony Lima, executive director at SAVE, the state's oldest LGBTQ advocacy group, and Chief Larry Jeriga of the North Miami Police Department. Gentlemen, great to have you all with us today. Thank, Thank you, for you for having us. Yeah, Jason, let's kick it off. So let's talk about this initiative and how you actually went and picked these 11 recipients of this money that goes to these great organizations in our community. Well, with the Miami Dolphins, we always want to win games on the field, but in the community, our mission is teamwork at work, and that's helping make South Florida healthier, educated, and more united. So a subset of that is this Football Unites program. So we chose these 11 groups, as you mentioned, to really amplify the efforts they're doing around social justice, to give them the platform to be able to do the great work in the community. So talk about this uh, effort, not only just with the Dolphins, but with the players, right? The players get involved with these organizations as well, correct? Absolutely. Our owner, Stephen Ross, created uh, RISE, the Ross Initiative for Sports and Equality, uh, th four years ago. Our players are giving to this fund as well, too. And that's the great thing we wanted to show through football, whether Ryan Tannehill scoring, scoring a winning touchdown and Cam Wicks giving the, giving the sack at the end <laughs> of the game. If you get a high five, hug, be excited with the person next to you. It doesn't matter their race, their gender, their profession, or their sexual orientation or identity. And we wanted to, how, how can we take that into the community and, and move that forward? So we were very intentional in the groups that we chose. We had a lot of great deserving applicants, but we wanted to stretch it out among law enforcement, or among military, among social justice programs, and also LGBTQ uh, groups as well, too, to bring those the intersection of society together. Yeah, because sports does bring people together. It doesn't matter who you are, where you're from, right? We all root for the home team, hopefully. Absolutely. So, Tony, let me talk to you. Let's talk about SAVE. Tell us about this organization, one of the longest-running advocacy groups here in South Florida for the LGBTQ community. Absolutely. So, yeah. SAVE is the longest-serving LGBT rights organization in the state, and we've been working now for 25 years to help promote, protect, and defend LGBTQ rights in the state of Florida, with a big focus in South Florida. And we've had a long-standing relationship with the Dolphins, but now with this grant this year, it sort of elevates everything a little bit. With Football Unites, we are able to continue doing our prejudice reduction work in the community, which aims to reduce prejudice against the LGBT community with a focus on the trans community through community forums, through uh, business engagement events, through knocking on doors and having phone banks to talk to the overall community. Mm -hmm. So for us, it's very exciting that we get to take this program to the next level with the Dolphins support. So this is really important to you to have this community connection with the Miami Dolphins, does absolutely, it not? Absolutely, yeah. and also I think what's been wonderful so far is that they've already put all of the organizations together. Everyone that's being funded within Football Unites has had a chance to meet, to connect, to talk about commonalities among our organizations, and I think that's where the real magic happens. And we're gonna talk about that in a moment, more about Football Unites and bringing everybody together, but I wanna get the chief in here. Tell us about PAL and the work that you do in the community with our youth. Well, PAL started in 1996, and it's the Police Athletic League of North Miami, and we're producing active leaders. That's what PAL stands for, for North Miami. Uh, we bring the kids in the community together, not only with teachers from the schools, but our police officers and other community members to give them mentors and peer counseling, as well as athletic and academic uh, adventures that we, we bring them on. Uh, we bring them to the facility in North Miami, but we also take them out around the community and show them different things that they wouldn't have the chance to normally experience. And working with Football Unites, the Miami Dolphins, and the other organizations, they see things that they would never have the chance to see. And uh, the players get to interact with some of these kids as well, correct? Like, the, what kinds of things do they do? Uh, the players come, and they've come to many of our uh, community events, whether it's our FACT Festival each year. Uh, we're having a fishing event coming up in the near future where they're going to join us at that. Uh, but just to see the players, to go to training camp, to be able to see them at the games, uh, what a remar remarkable experience it is for yeah. them. Yeah, Jason, talk about that with the players being involved. How excited are they to interact with the folks in the community? And I bet with the kids, too, they become kids themselves again, right? No question. Our players and coaches staff recognize that we're all stewards of the community. And to be able to have those touch points to meet with groups. I know uh, we did uh, ride-alongs with uh, Chief Jeriga. We're going to do a prejudice reduction campaign, as Tony mentioned, and, and help knock on doors as well, too. And we recognize our role, and that's really from our ownership, Stephen Ross, our Vice Chairman Tom Garfinkel, 
our head coach, Adam Gase. We're all excited and enthusiastic to be able to have this platform, but to work with 11 amazing groups to help their programming as well. So talk about Football Unites, because you had said earlier, it's not just about helping these individual entities. It's about bringing those groups together. Talk about that. Well, one of the things we talked about is that we didn't want to do one-offs and just, okay, we're purchasing the table and use our financial resources in that way to have, you know, have, you know, have an event. The main thing we noticed is in talking to all these different groups that there was a common theme among all of them. Mm -hmm. And it was about equality, human rights, work, you know, working together in, in the social justice uh, you know, space. So it was uh, encouraging when we met as a group about three weeks ago, everyone walked around and saw their mission and everyone like nod their heads. So we're, we're doing this, we're doing the same type of things. So how can we learn from each other? How can we, how can we uh, move, move this uh, conversation forward? It really do good, impactful work in the yeah. community. Because the Miami Dolphins, we don't have, by any stretch, don't have all the answers. But we have a platform, and we hope to amplify that platform, not only through finances, by bringing people together. Tony, you were nodding your head. Talk about that for a moment. I mean, the education has to be so important to educate the community about what you all do and about the LGBTQ community, right? Absolutely. It's, I think it's the baseline of everything that we do. Um, aside from doing a lot of educational work in the community, we also help elect people to office. We have a really strong endorsement process to get these people um, elected to represent us all. And we do a lot of work that's focused in just the general education arena. Mm -hmm. And I think for us, just that day, walking around the room, connecting with each of those organizations, Pride Lands actually, one of the, the greatest organizations in South Florida as well, is also part of it. So we knew some of the people in the room and automatically the work started. Mm -hmm. We were trying to see, so what are you doing? Mm -hmm. What can you offer? When can we meet up? And I'm sure and Jason can attest to this, but people are meeting probably as we speak already to try to build some bridges together. Chief, speak to that as well, because you were nodding your head too. Certainly. Obviously, this was a great way to get everybody together. Well, the unifying efforts of the Dolphins yeah. is tremendous, and the idea to bring all the different groups together, not just having a one-on-one -on -one relationship with the Dolphins is fantastic. As Tony was saying, we met that day, and some of us have already been speaking to each other. It's bringing us together. The financial aspect of the Dolphins' contribution is great, but then bringing everybody together, giving the kids the opportunities, giving the organizations the opportunities to say, hey, we can help you with this. Mm. Can you help us with that? It's really tremendous. That connectivity is great. Quickly speak about your um, partnership with the 5,000 role models of excellence. I know you're still working very closely with them, correct? Yeah, absolutely. They're an amazing group here in South Florida. They do a lot of great work for at-risk uh, young men. We have a relationship with them where we have a youth police and youth conference. So we brought over 600 of their members, 200 law enforcement people together. What do you do when you get stopped? How do you, how do you interact? Mm. What, with all the groups that we've dealt with, they are changing lives and saving lives in South Florida. And so it's, like I said, it's a great honor to deal with them. We have, they had a national academic signing day as well too. So we're just looking to amplify and, and bring all those boats together in terms of uh, you're going higher to really make impactful program that's gonna make a difference in our community. Wonderful, it's just so great to hear what, what's going on. Quickly, any predictions for our, our upcoming football season? No, we're excited for Hard Rock Stadium. <laughs> I mean, our goal every year is to go, go to the Super Bowl. So that, that, you know, that, that's definitely working with our head coach, Adam Gase, and we're gonna be excited and about that. And go all the way. All the way, baby, right? That, that's, we hope. That's the plan. That's yeah, yeah. The hope. Gentlemen, thank you so much. Great thank to have you. you with us today and to hear about this amazing program that the Dolphins are, are doing. And we are out of time. Jason, Tony, Chief Jiriga, thank you all for joining us. And for more information on the Dolphins community issues, go to our Facebook page at your South FL Dolphins community issues. You can find all the information there. And of course, you can always send us a video or a message about topics impacting you and our community. As always, we look forward to hearing from you.